this is a really cool stomper from uh, the mid 80s or so. This isn't the first generation. I had a few of the first generations when they came out. By the time this model came out, I wasn't really into stompers anymore. I was more into my, my car and fixing it up. But I do recall having these as a kid, and I absolutely love these. As a matter of fact, RK and I, we did a, a podcast about uh, Eddie Goldfarb, where we had Mr. Goldfarb on the show to talk about some of his other toy inventions. And one of the inventions was, of course, these. These were a hit out of the park for Shopper Toys. I remember a lot of my friends having these. We would race them and have pulling contests and all kinds of cool stuff. It's a very, very fun toy. It's a simple toy, being battery operated, you know, but it's still a really cool toy to mess around with, especially with all the accessories that Shopper came out for these as they progressed through their uh, lifespan in the early to mid 80s. Anyway, there was also a really cool exclusive version of these, of this model here, that was done by McDonald's. It was a mail away where you had to send in three proofs, proofs of purchase from the Happy Meal Stomper Mini 4x4 booklets. So, McDonald's back in 85, 86 or so had these little mini stompers. They weren't battery powered, but they were smaller. And you can get this battery operated version of this truck as an exclusive mail-in that basically the only difference was it had the McDonald's logo on the side and on the hood. I don't recall if it had the output shaft though. I don't think it did because I think it had multiple speeds. So it may have been just a regular chassis underneath with the special body on top. But it was a really cool exclusive mail-away offer. Taking a closer look at this, I love the wider wheels on this model. You can take the wheels off if you want to put the thinner original stomper wheels, tires I mean, on there. But I kind of like the looks of the wider tires. You can tell during this truck's life the wheels have been taken off and on and off quite a bit because the hubs are broken inside. You can see right there we got a flange that's broken off. But you know, as these toys get older, they get more and more. The plastic, the plastic gets brittle, and you'll have this kind of damage. So it's kind of hard to get one of these almost in pristine condition that's been played with for any length of time. On the front here, we have the power takeoff shaft right there, the PTO shaft. And basically the way that works is we have a winch accessory, which I'll show here after a while. That basically just easily bolts, I mean, snaps right onto the front, just like so. Just like that. Pretty cool. You would push in on the side right here to disengage the gear in order to pull the string out. And it got some fairly decent pulling power. It's not too bad at all. And it snaps just as easy. Of course, on the bottom we have our on and off. So one way activates the drive. The other way activates the PTO shaft. So if I go this way, drive tires activate. If I go the other way, the PTO shaft starts to spin. Put it in the middle and turn off. Also the bottom has a couple clips here. I think that was for the wheelie, uh, wheelie wheel you can put on here to make it like pop a wheelie and roll around. I don't have that accessory for this one. Then it has the description on the bottom here. Shopper, Division of Kusan, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Made in Hong Kong. It's got the patent information on the bottom. The patent's really cool to look at of these Stomper 4x4s. They're, they're really awesome. So anyway, we'll pop the top off here. You get a better look at the chassis itself. It does run on one AA battery. Right there. We have the little light here in the front that lights up. And you can see a better view of the PTO shaft. We're going to open this all up so you can see the gearing inside. Cause it's a marvel of engineering what was done inside these little devices. Okay, we got the end of the PTO shaft undone. So you see the little gear mechanism here that powers the PTO shaft. Some very tiny gears. <laughs> Here's the inside of the mechanism. As you can see, we have our gears on our shafts, our output gears. 
for the motor. Here's our PTO shaft. So when I flip the switch this way, the gears are disengaged. The motor's turned on to spin the PTO shaft. When I go the other way, it engages those gears on the axle so the truck actually moves. And that, that is so cool. A lot of technology went into this. It's pretty awesome. So now let's oil up the motor and everything because I've not done it to this one yet. And the oil I use is what I use on my model railroad engines. It's a really good oil. It's, it's a Hobby Lube Premium Light Oil HL66, no NL66, no what's an H isn't it? Is that an H? Or is that a K? That's an H. HL662. <laughs> I can't read. So I'll put a little dab right here on the shaft. A little dab on the shaft on this side. Like so. Let's see if we can get into the axles. Awesome. Alrighty. Oh, one other thing before I put this back together, I forgot to mention. I'm going to put a little bit of deoxit on the electrical contacts here and also on the bottom of the motor here. Make sure we got a nice good electrical connection to get the motor to activate. Alright, now we got it all back together. We can test it out here real quick. There's the drive. Put the other way, and the PTO shaft will spin. This also had the ability to put like a little wheelie bar in here as well, which I don't have that for this. But the way the, the winch attaches is very straightforward. It just snaps onto the front and hooks just like that. Piece of cake. We can pull the winch out a little bit here. Push on the side right here. To release the winch to pull it out then let it off and then we'll flip it to activate the winch <laughs> let's do that again push in pull the winch out and then activate the winch <laughs> that is so cool okay so i got it hooked up to a different toy so let's activate the winch <laughs> it's so cool awesome all right so now i think we need to take this and uh, give a little bit of a run outdoors across some obstacles maybe use the winch on something what a cool little device